Today we talk about inhaled corticosteroids. Inhaled corticosteroids are very important topic and use it for respiratory conditions, especially asthma and COPD, because they reduce inflammation. They do not use during acute attacks because they do not provide immediate response. Uses of inhaled corticosteroids. Inhaled corticosteroids is mostly used for the asthma and COPD. COPD, abbreviated from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Why inhaled corticosteroids is used for the asthma? Because asthma has clinical features which mostly result from the inflammation. So when inflammation occurs due to allergies, can lead bronchospasm. And bronchospasm can lead clinical features like dyspnea, cough, chest tightness, and so on. So when you use regularly inhaled corticosteroids, reduce these clinical features. Inhaled corticosteroids also use it for the COPD because during exacerbation like infections, virus, and bacteria, which can increase clinical features of COPD. You can use inhaled corticosteroids and reduce inflammation. Key treatment for the asthma. Key treatment for the asthma are inhaled corticosteroids. But COPD, primary treatment of the COPD are bronchodilators. Use of inhaled corticosteroids leads to better asthma control. When you use regularly inhaled corticosteroids, clinical features related to the asthma decrease due to suppression of inflammation, and this result to reduce the need for hospitalization. Another important for use inhaled corticosteroids is increase it better to agonistic effects. When you combine it inhaled corticosteroids and better to agonist better to agonist effectiveness increase. Better to agonist we divide it into the short acting and long acting. But short acting mostly used for during the acute attacks, like salbutamol. When we use inhaled corticosteroids, we must be take regularly. Your patient today must be used it every day. Mostly two times and two both. But mostly relate to the, the uses to clinical features of the patient. Septoptomies should get better in two to three weeks. When you want to prescribe, when you want to prescribe your patient to inhaled corticosteroids, fastly or fast two weeks, you must be you must be combined oral corticosteroids. After two weeks stop oral corticosteroids and continue inhaled corticosteroids. Inhaled steroids comes or come in three forms. Metrid dose inhaler, this is dry bolar inhaler, this is nebulizer, this is. When you use metrid dose inhaler, you can connect the spacer which reduce side effect. How to use inhaled steroids? First you must be prepare your device and then check well before use. Then inhale and exhale. When you become stable, your, your respiration expiration, spray your mouth. Then hold breath up to 10 seconds. Then exhale. If you need or if needed second above, wait up to 30 seconds. After years, raising your mouth with water after each dose to prevent hoarseness. Hoarseness is the most common side effect related to the inherited cosmosphere due to the effects of vocal cord muscles. If you drug include inhaled steroids, you must be stir dry and cold place. 
most common inherit corticosteroids are memetazone, ciclazonate, fluticazone, budesonate, and peclamethazone. Side effect is related to the inherited corticosteroids. Most common side effect is hoarseness. The other, other side effect is mostly related to the infectionist. Increased genus of infection like pharyngitis and laryngitis. Mode infection mostly candidiasis or oral thrush. Other side effect may occur. But most side effects related to the inherited corticosteroids are local side effects.